Forget that. <sighs> and scene. Here we go. All right, here comes music. Ready? I'm looking at daffodils and green. I hope you actually want something beautiful too. Turn the radio on and slide in. Deep breath in and you're not going to buy some flowers. <laughs> Exhale out. Come down. All the way. Exhale up. Turning for a high runner's lunge, 
Sink that back hip toward the floor. Reach your arms up. Inhale. And then we're going to exhale, take it down to the floor. And go back into a plank. So right into a plank. Then you're going to remember which leg should come forward. So the other leg. So my right leg is coming forward. Probably your left. And then you're going to come back up to a high runner's lunge. We're right into kind of an intense flow. So I'll show you the full and then I'll show you this modification. So you're going to go down, down, back, back. Push up, down, up, down, dog. That's it. Other leg foot forward. Forward. Lift to lunge. Take it down. Bring it to a plank. Give me a push up, which I don't do because my shoulders. Downward dog. There we go. Now let's do this again. Other leg comes forward. High runner's lunge. Take it back down to the floor. Give me a plank. Push up. Down. Up. Good. Downward dog. Big breath. Inhale. Exhale. Other leg forward. High runner's lunge. Take it down. Give me a plank. Give me a push up. Down dog. Other leg forward. Lift up. Take it down. Plank. Push up on your knees as well. Down dog. Leg, leg forward. Lift up a couple more times. Up. Down. Plank. Push up. Down dog. Forward to lunge, lift up, we're sending one more on each side. Take it down, give me plank, give me push up. Beautiful, downward dog. Last time, forward, lift all the way up, good. Take it all the way down. Give me a plank. Remember, you can be on your knees or you can not do the push up at all. Downward dog. Hips press back, chest towards thighs, relax your neck. Bend both knees, walk your hands into your feet. Roll yourself up one vertebra at a time. Roll the shoulders back. Four, three, two, one. Bravo. Inhale up. Squeeze your legs together like they're one leg. Give me a side bend. As though you're in between two panes of glass. So you don't want to drop that shoulder down. Right between two panes of glass. Inhale up. Exhale the other way. Deep breath in. Oops. Losing my balance. Exhale out. Lift up. Take those arms down and grab your waist. Okay. All right. We're going to come into a, uh, back into our squat. Shoulders wide. Tailbone softens down. Shoulders over hips. Roll the shoulders back four, three, two, one. Okay. Side, side, side. So make sure your feet are nice and wide so that your knees aren't shooting past your toes, right? Four is strong. We're going to reach across, reach across, reach, reach, reach. And nine. Eight, seven. So you're pulling that elbow back with control. And you're twisting through the waist. Or you can just stay straight up here. You don't even have to add a twist. Two, one. All right, we're going to pull. And then we're going to come up. Then we go back down, come up. Down, come up. So I'm lowering it to a lunge. And then I'm looking at the knee up and twisting toward it. So lunge, twist toward it. Lunge, twist. Lunge, twist. So your hips go back in your lunge. Hips go back. Knee angles over middle toes. Lunge, twist. Using my core to lift the knee. You guys have this? Yeah. So lunge, twist, lift. Lunge out, lift. You got it? Lunge, lift, lunge, lift. Five, up. four, go ahead. Three, lift. Two, lift. One, lift, hold it out. All right, come up. Pull in, out. So you can stand up. You're tired or need a little break. Or you can lunge all the way back down. You go somewhere in between, find your spot, pull, 
press. All right, on this one, I want you to think of lifting your heart up a little bit. So you're not leaning back in this lift, lower. So the, you're in your lunge, eight, seven, six, out, five, four, that's good. That was relaxed, three, shoulders out of ears, two, one, hold it halfway out, little pull, in, in, in. Come on, you tiny little pulse here, that's okay, in, in, hips that go up and down just a little bit, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, good, four, three, two, one, take it down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, down. The higher your elbows are, the more you're gonna have a little bit of more resistance here. So you can lower your arms, you can lift them up halfway. What goes into you? Eight, seven, six, out, five, good, four, Three, squeeze those arms, squeeze those biceps. And one. Okay, now we're gonna lunge the other way. And then we're gonna lift that same knee up twist. Lunge, lift. Here we go. Lunge, lift. Lunge, lift. Lunge, lift. Belly in. I don't really care a whole lot what you're doing with your arms, okay? It's just extra weight for a lunge. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, belly in and up. We got eight, out. Remember, hips go back as you come down. Land softly, more core. Four, out. Three, out. Two, out. One, out. Let's try to stop. Woo, long in the spine. You can be up, remember. You can be back to back, and over. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, all the way up. Bring your feet together and parallel. So then right under your hip bones. They're not together, they're not further than your hips. Hip bone. Bend your knees a little bit. So you can be in this like, like against your imaginary wall, your knees are bent, your feet are flat, or you can decide you want to lift up your heels a little bit. So that's what you're doing. Move your heels a little bit if you want. And then, I want you guys to imagine you have a ball in between your thighs. And that ball, you're squeezing in your imaginary ball. Okay? We're gonna lift our arms up and out. In, go back. Up to shoulder height. Out, squeeze your imaginary things in between your breastbone there, and then squeeze your elbows back. Lift shoulder height. Open, squeeze, pull back with intention. Lift, watch your neck. Open, so you can lower down more, you can bend your knees more, if that feels right to you. You can put your feet flat, and not worry about it at all. Stand up, here you can do it right here. Up, out, in, squeeze, whatever you want. Up, out, and we're focusing in on that upper body. Lift. Up. Out, squeeze together. Four more times, lift up, out, squeeze. Elbows come down and three, I think. Out, in, down, and two. Maybe you're lowering down a little more now. Your point of challenge, up, out, in, hips go back, boom. So your reach your arms long, your hips are back. You can run a little higher if you like, you can squat down. Open your shoulders, so your arms really long. Woo! And then we're gonna lift up, up, up. Straight up. So I want you guys to really think about squeezing your arms in. So your armpits are squeezing in. You're reaching your arms really long, okay? So lift, 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 lift. And they don't have to be high, they just have to be long. So eight, seven, six, five, four, you got it. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna stand up, bring your arms out, belly in. And then reach your arms straight back with a tricep. Good. Go up, reach, out, tricep. Reach, 
Reach, belly in, press. Reach, press. Reach, one faster, press. Up, take it back. Up, back. Up, now, if you guys want to add on, so you can not even go up onto your toes. Toes, you have to heel. Toes, you have to heel. Inhale, press the belly in. Low belly press in, back is small. Eight, yeah. Seven, six, back. Five, back to the left. Four, shoulders out of the earth. Three, belly pulled in. And two, use your breath. We're gonna hold it back now, hold. I'm showing you so what, I'm still lifting. Thumbs are back and down. All right, now you can bring your arms down for arms to reach higher. Then we're gonna do the drinking first. You can lift your heels up. And try to balance. Remember your arms, your arms can come down. Arms can stay back. Sink your hips down. Lift your heels up for 10, nine, good. Eight, keep going. Seven, six, keep going. Five, nice. Four, three, two, one. All the way up. Awesome. Okay, let's check the time real quick. Let's put the weights down for now. Stretch out the triceps a bit here. Woo. Actually, we want to start our triceps. Shoulder stretch. Right behind the shoulder blade. So it's a nice stretch here. Big breath in. Oh, fill out. Inhale. And release that side. Go the other way. Inhale, find your breath today. Maybe you've been breathing shallowly up into your chest. If that's you, take it down to your belly. Inhale the lungs, open up the ribs. Exhale out. Now we're going to triceps. Here we are. Tricep, maybe us, and maybe not. Maybe just like you need right now for a good stretch. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Find that support. Imagine you have a force wrapping around your waist. And release. Woo. Other arm up. Elbow. Pull that elbow towards your ear wherever you can. That feels okay in your shoulder. Find your breath again. Exhale. And one more of those. Deep breath in. You can do your side bend if that feels good to you. Here. And then exhale. Release. Woo. Okay. All right. So we're going to grab our chair. Or your furniture, right? You guys know. You guys know right now. Give me a quick sip of water. All right. We're going to do the first position. So heels together, toes apart, sink those knees. So my heels are going to squeeze. Tightly, because that's going to fire up your back body. And then lift your heels up. Squeeze your heel, like really squeeze it. I want you guys to feel what happens to the glutes, back body, lengthen the crown of the head, sink down a little further. Find your point right now of challenge. Like holding this for a full 30 seconds will be really hard. Okay, that's what I want you guys to be at. Then you're going to squeeze your heels a little bit more. You want to bring your hands to hard balance as you go. We're going to go one inch up, yeah, up, yeah, up, yeah, just an inch, lift an inch, lower an inch, collarbones broad, easy to forget about our core here, so think about your corset wrapping space. You want to go lower and get more burn? Do it. Seven, six, five. Four, we're going to feel that burn. Three, squeeze your heels. Two, one, hold it down. Now you're going to pull your knees back an inch. So your glutes are firing. Back an inch, back an inch. If you want to add on, bring your arms up. Back an inch, back an inch. So from the side, my knees are just going to be pulling back. Back. Back is just small. Glutes fire. Back. 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 Eight. Squeeze those heels. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold one. Back to neutral knee, right? Your knees are over your toes. Lower a little more. 
Okay, now pulse. Pulse. We're right. You're going to feel the burn somewhere. Maybe more at the top of the knees. Okay, so pull those kneecaps up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand all the way up. Shake out the legs. Nice. Shake them out. Lift the knees up. Up. Use your core. Up. Arms out. Up. Yeah. And twist if you like. Twist. 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 Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now we're going to do a, something we haven't done in a while. You take your furniture, you need to balance. Do that outside knee straight up. So, you're so lifting your knee up, it doesn't have to be very high because your hip flexors might get really tired there. So, you guys figure out where you want to lift your knee. But what I want you guys to not do is lift your hip bone up, right? Or let it drop. We're level on the hips, level, level. You have to look down and kind of, you don't have a mirror. Please don't look at yourself in the video. Maybe. And then lift the knee a little higher. And then, if you can, and then straight your legs. Out, in. So I'm going to just hold on here. You guys go out, in, out, in. So it goes out, in. Pull that thigh up. Okay? So you keep up pulling the thigh up as you go out, in, out, in, out. Okay, level your hips, lift your heart. Out, in. Yeah, the easy thing to do right now. Is to sink back right here. I'm exaggerating, but a lot of the times I see this. So lift the heart. Out, in, out. Pull that thigh up. Eight, seven, six. Core strong. Imagine that seatbelt pulling across your lap very tightly. Two, hold it out west. Let your foot turn your leg out. So I'm not straight up now, I've turned it out. And then a little bit straight up and down. To be low, but use that thigh. Lift, lift. You're using your thigh to lift your leg. You're using your core to be strong and long. And eight, seven, six, strong and long. When you turn, four, three. We got one more set. Two, hold one. Push your heel out. Push it out. So it can be low, you guys. If you're really feeling a ton in your hip flexor right through here, lower your leg. Take a break if you need to. So you got eight, seven, six, strong four, five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. Sink out to a lunge, or excuse me, a squat. Arm up. This is one of my favorite things. You guys know this. We'll give you a little side force. You're probably press across. Press across. It looks like this from the side. Press. 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 So a little twist, belly in. We did a lot of anti-twisting in my last class, and we're adding a little more twisting this one. Eight, seven, it's small though, six, it's all four, five, four, three, two, yes, one, and up. Another way, here we go. Press, 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 press. So it's like, put on the brakes, come back, put on the brakes, come back, brakes, back, right? Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Stand up. Other legs gonna come up. So lift your leg up. Head. Remember, we're lifting heart. So we're standing straight up and down, not hinging or sinking back. Right. Lift shoulders. Take it out. And the thigh pulls up toward your hip. Think about squeezing up. And out. In. Core is on. Hard lift. And then let's lengthen the crown of the head. Eight. And let me look. Seven. In. Six. Pull the thigh up. Heart high. Head down. Yeah. Pull five. I don't know. And four. In. Three. Two, pull, flex your foot, turn it out. So remember, you can be a little lower with your leg. Use that thigh, a little lift, up, down, up. So it's easy when you get tired, start leaning back. So remember, lift up, squeeze, lift, 
Squeeze the left. So belly in. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. So easy to sink into your stand, your standing hip. Two. Four. Keep lengthening. Three. Two. One. Okay. Push your knee, your foot out. Out. Push out. Out. Press. Press. Hard and long. Not hard long. Hard and long. Open. We are breathing. Eight, seven, six, five. Press. Four, three, two, and one. We did it. Shake it out. Shake it out. Okay. One more set of thighs. We're going to go right out to our plie again. Squat down. Here we go. Turn your toes about 10 into your knee. You should be aligned with the middle toe with that. Belly in. Arms out. So the tailbone sinks down from the floor. Shoulders over hips. Lower to your point of challenge. We're going to go one inch up, down, up, down, up, down. So core is on. Looking good, you guys. Down, up, down. Uh, okay, now here, keep going as I talk. Your thighs are pulling up. Pull up, reach away. Pull up, you can almost feel it here. Just turn on there. Eight, down. Seven, six, tighten that belt around your waist. Four, three, yeah, two, one, hands up, heart, pull. Down, down, down. Now, you want to add on. So you can still up. You don't have to. Your up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Maybe shake it two. One. Take your heels down. Okay, guys. Pull it all in. Shake it out. Let's stretch your thighs. Pull the right foot up, hips under. You want to add balance with the arm. Find that core again. Make sure your butt, your hips are out. Pull under and then pull your knee back. Okay. Maybe we're going to add on to life. We're going to go into a figure four. So we're going to release that figure four sink down. So you can have your furniture. Flex your foot, open shoulder, hips go back and down. Deep breath in. Exhale out. One more big breath here. Just open up the hips for one to take home. And come on up. Now let's go to the other side. So pull that foot up. Keep that hips. We can lean fast. Balance your life. Coming back to the breath again. So breathe in. Full breath in. All the way down that pelvic floor. Let go. Exhale it all out. And again, inhale it all in. Exhale it all out. And then try to go up to your four. Let's press back. So you guys can hold on to something first or you can balance. Whatever. Sometimes, like, I'm in such good balance in my life, and other times I'm not. Cycles, right? So take a big breath in, and then as you come up, shake your legs out. Grab your chair for the lips. Grab some water. I feel like I need a lot of water today. So a little dehydrated. If you have a ball or a, a big towel, go ahead and get it. I'm going to use this today. Behind the knee. I'm going to go here. So, if you don't, don't worry. Whatever you have something. Sweet. Okay. All right. So, behind the left knee, let's go left first. So you're going to square your hips. And you're going to make sure that you're squeezing in on the ball. So, you guys know this one is much about deep core as it is about glute and hamstring. When I lose my core, my back arches, flexes, extends and flexes. Okay, so what you want to do is keep your, your core 
wrong. So when you lift your leg, there's none of that happening. So right now, lift your leg, a two count, go up one, go up two, yeah. Hold that, you should be in neutral spine. Hold that and just squeeze your ball in. And if you don't have a ball, it doesn't matter, squeeze your heels in. In, in, in. We're really using that hamstring. Already you might be feeling too much. Already you might want to take the ball out. <laughs> if you feel like it's too much. Core is strong. Tense. You're skipping up your imaginary type jeans, right? Pull that in. Strong and long. Eight, seven, six, five. You can lower your knee down a little bit. Two, hold what? Flex your foot. Pull that knee down. Five and five. Lift up, down. Lift up. So your back is really stable. Up. My back is really stable here. I've got my low, my hand on my low back just to make sure. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, you guys keep going. Up, down. Up. Shoulders drop out of your ears. Breath. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Six more. Five. Put it flex. Four. Three. Squeeze your glute. Two. Hold it up on one. Little pulls. Go up. 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 So if your hamstring is screaming, take your ball out. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right, you guys, last set. So your knee's gonna come up a little bit, point your toes again, and then lift your knee out to the side and down. Like a little fire hydrant movement. Lift, lower, core strong. Just for eight, seven, six, five. Really pull that belly in and up. Three, two, standing hip is killing me, one. Release, okay. Woo! Hips go back. If you want to take hands to your thighs, chins or the floor, go for it. Bend your right knee, pop, pop the left hip up and back. Switch the other side. Ho, ho, ho. Bend both knees, roll back up, belly in. We're going to go right to the other side now. So we're going to go behind the right knee. Okay? You got your ball back in neutral spine. Your hips are both facing, pointing straight down to the floor. Point your toes. You're going to lift your right knee up. One, two, pull. Pull the heel in. Squeeze the ball. Squeeze. 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 Core is strong. Squeeze. Squeeze. Your hand is working hard. Squeeze. It. So make sure you're not locking out that standing knee. Have a little micro bend. Squeeze, <laughs> squeeze. 10, nine, eight, seven, good. Six, five, low belly pulled in. Four, three, two, hold one. Flex your foot, drop that, keep that side back down. And go up, up, down, down. Up, up. Down, down, up, up, down, down. So you're squeezing. You can take the ball out if you like. Down, down, go up, up, down, down, up, up, down. Be sure you're looking at your hip buttons are pointing straight to the floor. Four, down, down, three, down, down, two, down. And one, down, little pulse, go up, go up for 10, nine, eight, I think this is what I did, Woo! six, my brain, five, four, three, two, one, point your toe, fire hydrant, up, down, up, down, up, 10, nine, four is strong, eight, seven, six, Shoulders out of here. Four, three, two, last one. Take the ball out. Stretch your hips back again. 
We're gonna come down to the floor up. Stretch your hips back. Hands down. Bend the right knee for two counts, and then bend the left knee for two counts. Go right, two, go left, two. Right, right, left, left, bend both knees, roll back up. Nice work. Okay, we're gonna come down to the floor, finish the on the floor. So, uh oh, uh oh, look at my mat. I'm taking over. <laughs> Zoe, you gotta move. Uh, all right, let's see if we can do this with the top here. Zoe, go, go, go. All right. <laughs> she got her little yoga in. Um, so we're gonna lay down on our backs. If you guys have weights, grab them. It's gonna give you a little extra weight. Where I'm gonna just tip my, my lid down a little bit. Okay. Hi. Okay. If you have weights, grab your weights. Not mandatory by any means. We're gonna lay down on our backs. Woo! All right. So to begin, your feet should be parallel with your sitting bones. Okay, so they're not wider than your hips like you might go to. They're just parallel to your sitting bones. Pull it up my, my pants here. And then your arms are gonna go up, straight up. Palms face in, with or without weights. And I need to move away from my table a little bit. A little bit. And you're gonna just lift your hips up. Two, down to a hover, okay? Go up, up, go down to a hover. Go, let's squeeze those glutes. But I want you guys to push all four corners of your feet into the floor so you can really feel, um, you can really feel your glutes firing all four corners of your feet. <laughs> now, if you want to add in, you're gonna go. <coughs> I'm choking. <coughs> Keep going. <laughs> Woo! Up. Okay, now we're gonna add it. It goes out to the side, all the way up. Up. You go out, out, up. It's a fly exercise. So just work in those steps a little bit more. Down, down. The tips up. Core is still on gently. Down, down. Go up, up, down, down. Go up. Up, exhale, up, inhale, down. Four more, up, up, down, down, and three. Squeeze those glutes, and two, squeeze. Neck is relaxed, one, up, down, and hold. Hips at a hover. And then we're gonna tap our elbows down to the floor. As we lift our hips, down a little faster, tap. Tap, push, tap, push, keep squeezing those glutes. I'm doing a lot of glutes here. And 10, 9, 8, that's it. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold, hips down all the way. Now we're walking our feet out a little bit wider than our hips, just a little bit. Okay, so you're. Toes are turned out to one and 11. Arms, palms face in. Uh, put more weight on your heels and then lift your hips up. They don't have to be really high. Then you're gonna bend your elbows so that the weights come next to your ears. Put your elbows stay straight up. And then you're gonna stretch, okay? So we're gonna lower a little, lift at the same time. Down, up, we're gonna try steps, down. Up, squeeze those glutes down. Up. It's really easy to forget about having your core set right now. So think about a belt gently wrapping to about a three on your belt, one to ten. Lower, squeeze. Eight, up. Seven, up. Six, squeeze. Five, relax your neck and shoulders as much as you can. Well, your shoulders are up, but try not to lift them off the floor. Keep them rooted to the floor. Two, one. Okay, take your arms down or put them on your hips if you want a little extra. This is extra weight for your hips. Or just down. Lift, lift. I'm coming down, lift, lift. Now lift your toes up. Toes up. Squeeze, 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 
Squeeze. You can have your weight setting on your hips if you want extra, guys. Eight, seven, five, four. I've got to see what time to see if I have more time for more glutes. Usually I have a clock. I need a clock. One. Hold. I do. Set your toes down. Bring your heels off the floor. Lift your hips a little bit higher. And just like we did at the beginning of class, we're going to use out an inch. Out to the side an inch. Out. We just have ten, nine, eight, seven. Relax your neck. Six. Relax your jaw and, your, and even your forehead. Three, two, one. Set those hips down. Oh yeah. Burning fire. Pull the knees into your chest. Just sway side to side. Open up your low back. Come back to your breath. Woo! Wow. Okay, so I think we can do this hip stretch without it hurting too much. You're going to just cross your right thigh over your left, like you're crossing your legs, like you're sitting. And then pull your knees up. You guys, some of you know this one. Your shins are parallel to the ground at this point. Grab your ankles, pull them toward your shoulder. Shoulders. <laughs> Take a big breath. So that was a lot of good work. This might be very intense right now. This might be like, no way. You can just do a figure four if you like, okay? Find a good hip stretch that works for you right now. A couple more breaths. And release that. We'll do more stretching of the glutes as we go. Other side, pull the knees up, grab your ankles, pull toward your shoulders. Find your breath. Remember, you can just do figure four. That's fine. Big breath in. Exhale it all out. Woo. Relax the neck. Relax the jaw. One more big breath in. And exhale out. Release. Okay, guys. Roll to sitting. Yeah. Bring your hands behind your hips. Fingertips point in. Remember, you can always use your weights if you need to modify. We're going to do some tricep dips. Lift those hips up. Or keep them down here. Either way, I'll show you modification first. Bend the elbows. Here we go. Bend. If you guys have tricep stuff, you could do another one. You can do these, right? Figure out what feels better in your shoulders. So eight, seven, six, five, good. Four. Three, two, one, sit up, turn right around, bonus push-ups. This is a bonus. Knees, belly in, pelvis floor lift, shoulders out of ears. We're going to do 10 push-ups. I'm going to watch. Take it down, two, up, two. Go down, go down, go up, go up. Take it down, down, up, up. You got seven more. Down. Down, good, up, shoulders out of ears, elbows are bent, back towards your um, hips at a 45 degree angle. Down, four more, let's go. Take it down, down, go, up, up, go. You can always just sit in the plane here. Up, up, and two, one more, and let's tuck toes, downward dog, seat those heels. Reach those hips back. So stay in your down dog. Wrap that imaginary belt to about a five right now around your waist. And we're going to drop our hips to a hover over the floor. Just a hover. Hands should be right under your shoulders right here. And then that up to a down dog. Exhale down to a hover. Core strong, neutral spine. Inhale back to a down dog. Exhale down to a hover. Belly in. Hover those knees. Back to a down dog. Two more. Exhale, down, hover. Beautiful. Down, dog. Last time, now we're going to hold the hover. Hold the hover. Your back should be in neutral and pull your knees down. Down. Eight. Seven. Put your low belly in tight. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Step back into child's pose. Woo! Big breath in. And let's go ahead and roll it up one vertebra at a time. And we're going to get ready for our um, abs. But I don't remember where I put my ball. <laughs> Looking for the ball. Here it is. Ab work. If you have your ball, 
Bring it right behind your low back. Okay. Anyone not have a ball? Show me with a hand. Oh, oh, does everybody have a ball? Right on. Okay. Nice. Right behind your low back. We're going to tip up. Tuck hips under so that our low back is pushing in on the ball. Let's see if you guys know this is my favorite thing to do, this right here. We're going to really push the belly button into the spine. Turn that down a little bit. And then think about hollowing out your belly, just pull arms up, collarbones broad. Pull that belly, pull your belly button to your spine and push your spine into your ball. It's a big one. That's a big contraction right there. And then we're going to lift up one tiny inch. We're not coming up all the way, and then we're pushing back. It's very imperceptible. Up an inch, push. It's very small. Up, push. So you're really not ever releasing your contraction. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Shoulders are broad. Belly pulls in. Press. And press. Exhale, press. Five more. Five. Four, push three, even if you don't have a ball, you can do this. Two, press one, bend those elbows. So you might bend those elbows and realize you're back too far. You might need to sit up a little bit, okay? And then we're just gonna twist and punch to the side from center. Punch, center, punch, center, punch, center. So you're pressing back on your ball, you're hollowing at your belly, punch, center. Let's go a little faster, here we go. Punch, Punch, twist, twist. Really pull your belly button into your spine. And you can stay straight without doing a lot of twisting. Kind of back to that anti-twist, so it works. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, one, hold. Pull those toes in a little closer to your hips. You might need to do a little bit of a ball adjustment to get into that. And then what I want you guys to do is dig into your low belly. Think about your hip bone to hip bone and draw a little smile. And then think about that smile is what's gonna lift your knees up towards your chest. So lift, tap. Lift with a smile, tap. Think for a smile on your face, and tap. Lift, tap. Lift, use your low belly. If you feel like you want a little more out of this, you can let <clears throat> like go of your thighs. Lift, lift. But if you feel yourself going into your low back doing that, don't you don't release. Three, two, hold one. Okay, guys, you can release or hold, and you're gonna straighten, straighten up, up, eight, seven. But dig into that low belly. Either way, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, sit up. Woo! Yeah. All right, we're gonna release the ball. Take the ball. I'm pretty sure you all have a ball, so we're gonna come down all the way to our uh, back and then put the ball under your hips. I haven't got to do this in a long time. This is another favorite. If you don't have a ball, just do it without a ball. It's totally cool. It doesn't even matter. Ball just adds a little bit of balance work. But if you don't have a ball, you can still do this. So inhale, you just do it on the floor. Exhale, ribs and hips come together. So pull your waist down to the floor. Bring one knee up to tabletop. Bring the other knee up. Okay, even without a ball, right? I'm doing it here, up, up. Now, you're going to go ahead and, mat and then think about pulling your knees in towards your chest with that smile, that low belly again. So lift, as though you're trying to lift your hips off the ball, and then push your tailbone onto the ball to come back into a neutral spine so your legs are tabletop. So deep core work here. So we're using the low belly to lift, and then we're pushing the tabletop neutral. Going past neutral, everything lifts up and releases. We don't want that. We're gonna lift, exhale up, inhale, back. Little lift, all using the belly. No, we wanna um, let the shoulders go out of this because they like to work here. So keep going, exhale up, inhale, back. Exhale up with the low belly, back to neutral. See if you can release your neck and shoulders. You could even try to do this without having your hands down. 
is really challenging. But if you're on the floor, go ahead. So you're coming up and back. Here's the floor. Up and back to neutral. It's still hard. And back. Exhale. So everybody should really be digging into this now, really feeling it. You don't want your legs to go past neutral on the way back down or past tabletop. Up, neutral. Up with a low belly, tabletop. Two more. Up, tabletop. Last one, exhale, inhale, hold. So our legs are tabletop, waist close to floor. Swap, uh, sweep your feet to the right as your knees go left. Do that little side bend crunch. Sweep your knees to the left, side bend crunch. So sweep, sweep, exhale, exhale, exhale. Really flatten your low belly. You can do this on the floor, do not need a ball. Exhale, 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 that's it. Six, five, side bend crunch. Four, flatten belly, three, Two, it doesn't need to be far. One, back to center. Straighten your legs as much as you can. And then think about tipping your pelt, your tailbone up. So you can feel that engagement in the low belly. Lower your legs away from you a little bit. To the point that you can control. Maybe you're at weight here, maybe you can go a little lower, but you're pulling those hip bones up toward your ribs. I can't go lower and talk. <laughs> well, I should be able to, but just breathe, inhale. Exhale, reach your arms up if you can, and away. So you've got this reaching your arms and away from each other for five, keep pulling belly down, four, three, two, pull it all in, one. Set your feet down, nice work. Take the ball out. Let's do one little stretch here. We check the time. That's about it, you guys, inhale. But flex your feet, squeeze your legs together. We're gonna to roll up to get up. So bring your arms up, pull your belly in, inhale all the way up, exhale as an overreach. And sit all the way up. Yeah, nice. We're gonna do one more thing. It's also a stretch. So you're gonna bring your knees and legs over to one side. Your arms should be at a V. So it's coming right from your ear. Your arms are not a V, sorry, a diagonal. Trying to do too many things at once. So that when you come up and over like this, your hand is not going way under you. And lower down. Exhale with core, exhale up and over, side bend. Inhale down, control. Two more times, exhale. Shh. Inhale. Last time, exhale. Still working that core. Inhale down. And then we'll switch the other way. So we're going the other side. I'm just going to look maybe for a little playlist while we pull down. Okay, exhale up and over. Inhale down. Exhale up and over. Ooh. Inhale down with control. That's core right there. Exhale up and over. One more time. And all the way down. Nice. Bring your legs right in front of you. Let's take your right leg out to the side. Just a straddle stretch. Okay, give me a straddle stretch here. And then you should feel this kind of nice stretch here. And then you're gonna come up and over, if you want. Or you can just turn toward that leg and do a little bit of a thigh stretch, or a hammy stretch. Okay, whatever you feel good doing right now. Keep going as I try to add too many playlists. I can't ever find the one I want fast enough. Okay, and then inhale up, and then go ahead and go the other way. Up and over here, or you can turn toward your thigh here, okay? So this is my music supposed to be playing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't know why it's not playing me. Big breath, coming back up, cross so to the or excuse me, cross your legs, bring your arms out, feel the hip stretch again. I'm sure what happened to my music, it just stopped. <laughs> it's playing, but yeah, yikes, there it is. <laughs> Sorry, 
big breath. And then go ahead and come back up, put your knees lace, what's in front. Again, long spike, bring your arms forward. Big breath, breath. Open up the back lungs, the back heart. Exhale it all out. Come on, back up. We're about done here, so let's go inhale up. Let's just do a little, uh, little bit of a twist back. And then inhale up. Other way, exhale a little twist. And then inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart. Just take five beautiful deep cleansing breaths. Maybe you want to just do a breath count. Maybe you have a mantra you like to repeat. Five times. Big breaths in. Here we go. Inhale. More big breath in. So let's just breathe it up. Inhale up, gather up all the energy you want, happy energy, good energy. Exhale it all down and in. Thank you guys. So good to see you guys. Go ahead and turn off the video. Boom. I say stop.